Hello everybody, welcome to another fantastic episode of Distilled, Brewed, and Reviewed. My name is John, I am in my world famous sipping den. Oh, I've got some great stuff here, some great stuff I always put out, the beautiful stuff. Let me say this, I do everything that has anything to do with alcohol on this channel, okay? And I do everything that has anything to do with coffee, right? Two of the best beverages, right? Everything that has anything to do with alcohol and coffee doesn't get any better than this. And let me say this, since that's a lot of stuff, how do we keep track of it? I made it easy. I made it so easy. I have the best, the most comprehensive, the most easily categorized and easy to navigate playlists on YouTube. And if you'll just look at my playlist and look at the titles, you'll be there forever because you won't be able to leave. It's so interesting. It's so beautiful. First comment of every video has a link to the playlist that pertains to what I'm reviewing. In this case, rye whiskey, right? Just look at the first comment. Be pinned. Rye whiskey, boom, all my rye whiskey reviews. I make it easy. And remember, I guess it's hard to do all these type of reviews for the average person, but you gotta remember, I'm not the average person. I'm the only one, frankly, in the world who can do it. And to make it fair to the other YouTubers, I do it with half my taste buds tied behind my back. Don't worry, I only need a quarter of them. I like to say that I am a one-stop shop. I am the super mall. You wanna to go to a thousand channels and look for this stuff, go ahead. Or you can just look at my playlist and you've got everything you've ever wanted. This is interesting, this series I've been doing, right? What is this? What is this series? Take a look at this label first off. It's cool, isn't it? Isn't it? And uh, eh, here's the back. Let me get out of it. Now, notice the... I've tore it up, but the wax, the beautiful wax is red, purple, green. What is this? What is this rare character? Whiskey. Well, let's see. Single Barrel Series Purveyor of Rare Whiskies. Rare Character Whiskey Company was born out of a or out of Pablo Moy's love for collecting rare and distinctive whiskies. Who don't love that? After two decades of purchasing single barrels for his own bars and restaurants. He has developed a unique insight into the industry and has forged special relationships with top distillers and distilleries. And let me just say this. Well, I'll say it here in a second. Uh, they have offered him one-of-a-kind access to their private warehouses. And for this series, hmm, the single barrel series, Moy has found and procured barrels unlike anything else out there. This limited release showcase um, showcases the uh, the time-honored traditions of American whiskey making back when products were still produced the old-fashioned way rare character whiskey is for connoisseurs like us yeah who should pick only the most memorable occasion to sip these fine whiskeys and the memorable occasion tonight for me is you uh, that have never been released before and will never be released again. Distilled one or January of 2016. Bottled October of 2021. 95% rye, 5% malted barley. Distilled in Tennessee. Aged in Kentucky. And bottled by Rare Character Whiskey Company, Stanford, Kentucky. Aged in new charred oak. Uh, this was selected by Spiegel World. And what is Spiegel World? Well, when I Googled it, and you can Google it to get better than what I'm going to tell you right here, because I'm going to do a short version of it. It's a live entertainment production company out of Las Vegas that puts on shows that involve adult comedy, acrobatics, music, and much more. Check them out. And they got this whiskey. Mr. Moy selected this whiskey for them. It says barrel number TNR-03, 
proof 111.72. Uh, so the echo by volume is 55.86. It is four years and nine months. Tennessee straight rye whiskey, cast strength, and the usual green label for rye whiskey. Um, Mr. Moy uh, says that um, he works with an artist, and the big thing is not so much the name of the people selecting the barrel. Okay, with his company. It is the rare and beautiful artwork on the label. That's what characterizes and differentiates his whiskey. So let's get into it. I've already been sipping it, so I've already acclimated myself to it. Um, and I take it off before, because otherwise, sometimes it takes me quite a while to get this. Not tamper-proof, but whether it was meant to or not, it's damn tamper-resistant top. The first pop... Loud, beautiful. Sounds good though. Love the little, uh, all the different, uh, the way that cuts up and it goes down the front on um, the different color waxes. Now, like I said, big deal with these labels. And you can Google um, Rare Character. And if you have a club or something like that and uh, you want uh, a beautifully bottled, rare, unique whiskey, you contact Rare Character online. Uh, he commented on one of my videos. Uh, maybe he'll do this one. Check it out. You can get in contact with him that way. It's pretty cool. When I saw that he actually commented on my video, I was pretty, pretty stoked up. And what I was going to tell you before is I'm going tomorrow, uh, as I'm shooting this tomorrow, on a barrel pick for a company at Old Forester. I'm doing a brow pick for them. I'm very excited. I don't think I'll be able to film it. If I do, it'll be on my phone. I'm not going to go marching in there with it. It's, it's a business thing <laughs> with my camera. It's just not for the channel. It's for somebody else. Um, unfortunately, it would be great to be able to do that. But um, I'm excited about that. So, All right. Here's the color. And whatever whiskey I choose to become bottled, uh, I will, of course, have a bottle of it and review it. It'll probably be a couple months from now, from now before that actually gets bottled and sent out. Alright, let's give it a smell. I've already went through it, but I'm going to do it again. You know what's interesting? I get a sweet, grainy cereal. When I say grainy cereal, I'm talking like cream of wheat, grits, um, some kind of a cereal like that. A hot cereal with uh, brown sugar mixed into it, you know, like you would eat it. And new, and this may or may not be odd, I don't think it is, I think a lot of whiskeys fit this description, and I don't use it a lot of time. New, and there's a difference, leather. If you were to walk into a leather shop where they are cutting leather, making things out of leather, um, the smell of a, of a leather shop, if you've ever had anything made, I have had things made at a leather shop, and uh, it's kind of a, a cool smell, and that's what I'm getting, uh, along with that cereal, that sweet cereal. I'll tell you what's cool. I am getting... Grand Marnier type smell. Now, what Grand Marnier is, it's an orange liqueur, but a lot of times I will pick up orange, but in this case, I'm saying orange liqueur because there's a difference between a fresh orange or the fruit and the liqueur because the liqueur just has a different smell. Obviously, there's uh, alcohol in it, and it just that's what I am picking up on this. Very interesting. All right, let's give her a go. Now this one I don't need an acclimation sip because I've been sipping on it for a bit and I've already had an acclimation sip. Normally I would put do that. Interesting. Definitely, uh, you know what? Hmm. 
This reminds me of a sweet and spicy Asian dish. It really does. They like to play with those flavors. They have hot and spicy and or uh, sweet and sour type. Of, this is sweet and spicy. But it reminds me of, of like Asian food. Like the sauce on the food, the sweet and spicy sauce, however. And that is very interesting. I'm also getting ginger, which again is in a lot of Asian dishes. So I'm getting spicy, I'm getting ginger, which the ginger I know is a spice, um, but kind of a hot spice, aside from the ginger, and then a sweetness with it, and then some ginger like some type of pepper and sweetness and ginger and a little bit of that Grand Marnier which is an orange liqueur no leather taste, none of that cereal taste that I was getting on the nose maybe, maybe a kiss of graininess yeah. kiss of graininess say I'm getting some of the cereal very interesting so read my comments hopefully mr. Moy will uh, comment again very exciting when he does that um, or in anybody any company when I do a review if they comment I'm always excited um, and I guess you can look up um, rare character uh, get an idea what they're about get more detail than what I gave you um, you can look up Spiegel world so there's a lot going on just in the background behind these whiskeys, not even in the what's in the bottle and the taste and the smell, but everything that's behind it uh, is interesting in all three of these. So check out the series. They'll all be under, well, two will be under my bourbon playlist. Remember, this one's going to be under my rye playlist. Don't worry. They're all attached. Any bourbon, uh, well, just look up my playlist. You'll find the bourbons, you'll find the ryes, you'll find everything. Uh, I guess what I should do, though, uh, real quick, is just add, and I don't have much in here, so I am going to barely put some water in and see what happens. Can't say it has changed it a lot. Let's try for the taste. I'd say the only thing that that has brought out a little bit on top of everything else is a kiss of smoke. So, very interesting, very good. Man knows his stuff. Um, and I know that he's come out with five, five, excuse me, three that are really good. So, if you're out at your local stores and you see Rare Character, pick it up because one of these was made for a store here in Kentucky uh, that has a chain of stores throughout Kentucky. Um, Liquor Barn. And uh, what was this other one again? Oh, T8K, I'd describe it. And you, you could check it out and then do some further research. It's very interesting. And thank you for being here. Please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.